Hello, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about how to start going raw. <laughs> Let's dive into that topic in this video. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for yet another video here on my YouTube channel. If you enjoy videos like this, don't hesitate to go click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We also have 40% off any or all of our raw vegan recipe eBooks. There's hundreds of recipes and there's informational eBooks as well. You can find the link on the screen here or in the description box below. And the code to get 40% off is raw food 40. So go check those out if you are interested. And today I want to talk about starting a raw vegan diet. So there's lots of things <laughs> to think about when starting a raw diet, but we can do it simply just by starting, just by starting to eat more raw. Now we don't have to go 100% pure and perfect right away, right off the bat. We need to learn. It takes time to learn how to do a raw diet properly, how much you need to eat. And then when you get good at that, then you start finding new recipes. It's a process. It's not like immediately overnight, like this video is going to give you all that you need to suddenly be a raw vegan. You need to start somewhere. Start slow by just starting to add more raw every day. So that might look like starting with breakfast, a raw smoothie. Start by lowering your fat percentage because when you start to add more fruit into your diet, you're gonna need your insulin functioning properly. So get rid of the oils, get rid of the animal products and start adding more raw. The thing is you might want to start by going fully plant-based first get rid of the animal products, get rid of the processed foods, and just start eating whole food plant-based. Don't worry too much about being 100% raw right off the bat. Start just with breakfast raw, and lunch and dinner can be whole food plant-based. And then when you get the hang of breakfast, then you start with lunch. Start looking for new recipes, and work on maybe some all raw days. Maybe you do all three meals. Maybe you just stick with breakfast and lunch. Whatever it is that's going to help you to make progress. In a past video, I mentioned about how slower progress is better than delayed perfection because it's not about being perfect. There's no like perfect way to do it overnight. You really just need to start, make that choice and decide for yourself that you want to start to move towards eating an all raw diet. Some people might be able to do two raw meals right off the bat. Some people could do three, and then some days they might have a little bit of whole food cooked in there or what have you, but everyone's going to be working with where they're at. And there's no right or wrong way to do it, in my opinion, because you're doing something, which is so good. And in my brand new transition guide, I rewrote my 52 to a new you transition guide. It used to be around like 65 pages or whatever. Now it's 300 pages. And I included so much <laughs> to help you to go raw and to go vegan first and then slowly add more and more and more raw until you choose to only do raw. And it's totally up to you. It's a go at your own pace kind of deal. I talk about the gut microbiome, our relationship with food. I talk about supplements and how to shop and how to food prep. Um, I basically tried to fit everything that I possibly could think of into that ebook. And there's also 47 recipes in there as well. So there's some recipes to help get you started, to help you find your fallback five that you can fall back on when you're having one of those like tired, bored, or stressed out days. Sometimes we have those days and it's nice to have some recipes that we know and love and we know that it's going to be easy for us to make it. We have the ingredients on hand and we can just make it and just enjoy it and then feel good after that we made that choice for ourselves. So if you were interested in going raw, again, you just have to start. Start by eating more raw. Start by having your smoothie in the morning. Start by having bigger salads. Start by adding more raw food to your cooked meals. Like for example, if you're having something cooked, have a big raw salad with it. 
If you are making, say, a stir fry, for example, try adding some raw vegetables to it after. Maybe you put it on a bed of raw bok choy or you add some fresh tomatoes to it. Try to add more raw and just slowly, gradually increase the amount of raw that you're eating and crowd out the other stuff if that's what you want to do. And then you could grab my brand new transition guide. So that can really help because like I said, I tried to put everything I could possibly think of in that ebook to help you to transition to a raw diet. And I have been in the natural health industry for just now, I think it's been like 22 years. Since 2001, I started working in natural health and I've been on lots of different diets. I've coached hundreds of people, if not thousands of people on their struggles and challenges and brainstorm with them. And I've observed a lot of things and really it's balance, consistency and progress that is the most sustainable. When we try to do something overnight, yeah, it might feel like we're like all motivated to do it, but if we don't work on our basic habits, the things that we do every day, it's going to be really challenging when we run into things like stress or we're really tired or we're bored or anything like that. It's going to be really hard because our habits aren't in place. When we have strong habits, we default to those habits when we are in times of stress tiredness, boredom, that kind of thing. We really do, we are creatures of habits. So getting your habits on point is going to make the biggest difference when you are moving over to a raw diet. So hopefully that video sparked some motivation in you to start adding more raw. And if you're already eating lots of raw, start adding even more raw. Do all raw days more times during the week and just slowly work your way towards it towards where you feel your best. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video and go check out my brand new transition guide. It's 300 pages with 47 recipes. It's new, fully revised. I just released it and it's available in my store and it is also 40% off along with all of my other eBooks that you can find. The link is in the description box below and the 40% off code is rawfood40. So thank you again for joining me today for this video. We're gonna be back next week for another one. Every Sunday we are releasing videos here on YouTube. So if you do like these videos, click the subscribe button and click the little bell if you want to get notifications every time I post a new video. You can also sign up for my email list if you want to be on that as well. Links to everything is in the description box below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week for another video. Until then, fruit on!